Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful fall day. And today I'm coming at you with some of my fall snacks. Yes, I am going to do an episode in the future of all of my favorite like seasonal snacks, you know, pumpkin cookies, pumpkin waffles, pumpkin butter, butternut squash, raviolis, uh, you know, all the good stuff that's out there that is pumpkin spice or apple cinnamon or whatever it is for the season. But today, I wanted to show you some of the snacks that I love with fall flavors and some go-tos like cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, apples, the good stuff. And how I just kind of take the staple foods I have on hand already and turn them into some quick and easy snacks. That's what I'm all about. Quick, easy, staple foods, turn it into a meal. So let me show you what I got going on for my fall snacks. Okay, so most of these snacks, depending on what add-ins you put in, how you prepare them, they're gonna be 300 calories or less. A lot of times I feel like when people talk about snacking, they're like 150 calories, 200 calories. Sometimes I need a bit more calories to fill me up. So these snacks are gonna be 300 or less, if that's big enough for you for a full meal, go for it. But most of them are gonna be combinations of protein and carbs. Some of them will have that good fat in there as well, but you can change it up any way you want to make it work for you and the flavors that you enjoy. And hey, whatever your mood is with food that day. So maybe sometimes it's gonna be a little bit on the sweeter side, sometimes it's more on the savory. I'll show you how to do both. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it up and kind of walk you through snack by snack. But my main proteins for these snacks are gonna be Greek yogurt, all right? So this one's 0% fat, but you can get a higher fat one if you want. I actually have a higher fat one in there to get my good fats up. I'm gonna have cottage cheese on the mix. Love this brand. If you have not had that brand, The Good Culture, go get it. It is so delicious. And it's 14 grams of protein for a half cup serving. So that's a pretty good deal. And then my other main protein will be protein powder. So today for that fall flavor, we're going with PE Science Select, which is one of my favorite protein powders. Their vegan version is really good too. And they have a cinnamon flavored one that one of my clients introduced me to that is really similar to the Snickerdoodle. But we're gonna go with Snickerdoodle for a fall flavor. So that's what I got shaken for protein powder. So those are the three protein sources. So how do I mix this up? How do I get this creative to have fall flavors but to just use staples that I have on hand? So first up with the Greek yogurt, what I have been enjoying is mixing some butterscotch sugar-free pudding mix in there. I know this sounds weird, but hold on a second. And then I add in some pumpkin spice skinny syrup. So whoop, there you go. If you haven't had those, these are super delicious. I put these in oats, in blizzards, obviously in my coffee, and then I mix a little with the yogurt and the butterscotch pudding, and I use it as a dip with, oh my gosh, how did I forget the staple food? With my apple, all right? So that's a honey crisp apple. So I use that as a dipper, and then I use this one as a dipper as well. The veggie straw version the apple straws. If you have not had these, they taste like Taco Bell's cinnamon twist. I kid you not. And there's a lot in this bag. So it's a pretty good serving size, 140 calories, 17 carbs, seven fat, one gram protein. And it's a nice little dipper for this Greek yogurt apple dip. You could also use pretzels or something like that too. So that is one of my first snacks. All right, moving on and keeping with the apple theme. I have an apple and a pear. So I love both of them during the season. I'm really in, is this the Bosque pear? I think so. Is that the brown one? I don't know, but I like this flavor of it. So keeping with these two as my main carbohydrate, here's what I like to do. Snack number one. I'm still into rice cakes. They're always a quick and easy vessel. And so I would take my rice cakes and I still love putting, I know you've seen me do this before in snacks, with these wedge cheeses. So like this is the laughing cow, low fat Swiss one, and this is like a garlic and herb one. Both of them are so delicious with a little bit of that sliced apple or sliced pear as a snack. And then I'll sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on there. It is really, really tasty. So that's part of what I use the apple for. Next thing I like to do the apple with is I will take the Greek yogurt. So again, or sorry, the cottage cheese, 
this is my protein, and I mix, this is not weird, I swear it tastes good. I mix pumpkin pie spice, all right, so I got my pumpkin pie spice, and my cinnamon into the cottage cheese. And if you want it a little bit sweeter, sometimes I'll add in some stevia, and then I chop up my apple raw, or my pear raw, and I put that on top, and it is such a cozy fall snack. If you have more time, sauteing the apples or the pears, or even boiling them to get them soft, is a really good combo with the cottage cheese as well. So that's what I use with the cottage cheese for that flavor. You could even get super creative and crumble maybe a little pumpkin spice granola or they have like the pumpkin spice Cheerios right now. Put that on top of that for a crunch. Maybe crumble up some of the apple straws on there for a crunch. So that would be my second snack. Okay, moving on. I never get tired of different ways to mix up oatmeal. So I use the quick oats just to make them a little bit creamier. And I usually do a one to three oat to water ratio. So I use 30 grams dry of this, and so I'll do that times three for the water. And then I mix again the pumpkin pie spice with it and mm, a little bit of cinnamon, like a tiny bit and some kosher salt. I make that up with my unsweetened almond milk, and this is where I add my protein powder. So I don't use a full serving, you totally could, but I think it gets too protein powder tasting. So I just use a half serving, which would be 15 grams weight of the protein powder, but it makes it more voluminous. Once you start mixing it in there, it kind of changes the texture a little bit. It's almost like cakier. So I combine that with it. So this gives it more of that cinnamon fall flavor we all love with the oats. And then you can still add your chopped apple or your pair on top to that as well. And so those are my main ones. This is a quick and easy. It's oats with the protein powder, cottage cheese with your apple pear and those fall flavored spices, Greek yogurt as a dip, or you can just eat it as is. And then the other thing I wanted to show you, I have canned pumpkin on hand all the time during the fall. I mix this in with my oats a lot and I'll do more of a savory dish. So I'll mix it in there with the oats and then I put a fried egg on top. Trust me, sounds weird, but it's really good. Or you could go the sweet route where you put this in with your oatmeal and drizzle a little bit of Walden Farms maple syrup on top. That's a nice little combo. I use the canned pumpkin in protein blizzards all the time, so you can catch the way that I make my blizzard, and I turn it into a pumpkin one with 61 grams of canned pumpkin, and I use the snickerdoodle, like protein powder. It's such a nice combo. But again, you can get creative with this. You can add it into that Greek yogurt and then put a little bit of the skinny pumpkin pie spice syrup, and you've got nice little quick and easy fall snacks. None of these take time. Most of them are gonna be in your pantry or refrigerator already. And like I said, they're super calorie friendly. So you're not gonna feel super bloated. You're not gonna have big dips in your, your energy from your blood sugar. Like all of these are really nutrient dense foods that give you the taste of the season and keep you in alignment with your nutrition plan. So those are some of my fall snacks that I'm doing right now. I hope you give them a try. And if you wanna get super creative with that, uh, Rice cake, I always add, I like to add honey smoked turkey breast on top too with the pear or the apple and the sliced cheese. Really, really yummy. All right guys, so that's all I got for today. I wanted it to be fast, easy, go make these snacks. Would love to know in the comments what fall flavors, snacks you're enjoying right now. If you try out any of these combos, make sure you comment below, give me your feedback. And as always, Thanks for stopping by, checking out the episode. I'm always releasing them on Thursday and Sunday, so make sure you turn on that notification bell so you get alerted when the next one goes live. Happy fall, y'all.